always good to see you. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Look out, Marston. Little Johnny Marston. Did you think that up all by yourself? So very popular with the ladies. Why do you get like this? But so very feeble with the fat. Talk if you want, but I ain't listening. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good, I'm glad. Arthur. Help. Get the hell up. Arthur. What the hell? Oh. Come on, girl. Uh, let me guess, another poor pelt.
That should do us, girl. Come on, girl. Better not have a problem with his friend. Hey, get yourself out of there. Money, tough guy. Now, you don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Now, damn it. See you in. Good morning. What's it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're reading. And I am. Why do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Could really use some good meat for this stew. All right, let's see what we got. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around here again. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine's. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Okay, girl. Well, amigo, you in or what? Oh, I'm in. Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. We're gonna okay, man. This guy. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Yes! Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Better shot, I suppose. 
Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Shoot, huh? Yeah. Uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Oh, I'm sure. Let's I will. go, girl. Alright, guys, we're going to see Hosea. And see what kind of business he's trying to drum up over at Emerald Ranch. There's a girl. That's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. They all say that. <laughs> Never had an idiot who called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Feed Giovanni real quick. Here, girl. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? <laughs> Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. <laughs> Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> All right, girl. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. Gallivanting? That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. The bear didn't, though. He never recovered from his Arthur Morgan encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. 
He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. <laughs> Good girl. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a lip? Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Hey, that must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Huh, what to do, what to do. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Clip. 
and a pearl necklace. Take the carrot. Bob Crawford. Get on, dear boy. Come we got the sage croach. Let's head back. Two hundred and ten dollars worth of stuff. Let's ride. easy guys you know those guys are real real heavy sleepers nicely done we got everything we needed and I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there yes we less problems the better right now just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work so what were you able to lift from the house Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Oh, Not too bad. Not bad at all. This Try was to... easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Oh my gosh. Easy, you're all right. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah. Sure. When are we 
hunting another bear. What are you doing? Uh, maybe not for a while. <laughs> Might be for the best. See what's up with everybody around the camp. My God, you're ridiculous. Hey, watch your mouth. Plain ridiculous. Why are you being an asshole? <laughs> you squirming little maggot. Here we go. Hello. Pearson said he's short a little meat Look, for the pot. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Look, now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't that. Don't come alone, will you? <laughs> well, well, well. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Might that be enough? Fair enough. Anyway, anyway, I was a comedian, but I wanted to do something serious. Drama. I had reading some of it, but I didn't understand more than two words of it. I just wanted to be in one of them. I don't know why now. So one day... I snuck onto the stage. Torner it was. The Revenger's tragedy. Bunch of Italians stabbing each other. And I stabbed someone. Really? You stabbed them? No, I wasn't quite that dumb. Uh, but then I had a line to say and I completely forgot it and got booed off. Oh, the shame of it. And that was the end of my dramatic career. I should have been an actor. I'm a natural, but the lore of Africa was too great for me. Oh, my Did goodness. Did I ever tell you about Timbuktu? Oh, shut many up, times, Uncle. My friend, many times, and I don't believe any of it. <laughs> it's getting kind of late. I got to get some sleep. Yeah, well, be well. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. On the next episode, we are going to do this hair Strauss deal. Um, yeah. But, if you guys like what you saw, you know what to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Lighters.